time. Let's go through a bunch of examples and, and look at, you know, for these, we'll often quickly review the basic use, which you may already have uh, be familiar with, especially if you took the intro course, and then we'll talk about ways you can take it to the next level. So the first one is toggler. As a quick review, toggler toggles two states. You can open and close things, um, you know, have them uh, active and not active. Toggler is a very generic plugin. It lets you toggle any sort of state between two objects. It also is something that most of the foundation plugins that have two states know how to listen to, or all of the foundation plugins that have two states. So you can use a toggler pointing at a modal or a dropdown or something like that, uh, and it will automatically know how to behave. In this case, we're using it to uh, look at just a generic uh, object within the page, and we have two kind of key pieces. So we're going to have a thing that does the toggle. It points to an ID. Um, and the thing that is being toggled, in this case, the menu bar. Then you have this data toggler attribute, and that's saying, what is it that, that when I toggle is going to change? In this case, it's the class expanded. Okay, cool. That's the basic use. We also talk in the intro class a little bit about animations. You can hide and show things and automatically use animations for motion UI using data animate. Uh, there's a whole list of uh, animations included by default out of uh, from motion UI, or you can define your own. These are all pretty basic use, but there's some additional fun stuff you can do with toggle. So for example, you can toggle based on focus. Say you have a set of helper text uh, associated with a form that you only want to show when somebody's focused in on an input. Rather than using data toggle, you use data toggle focus, and it behaves the same way, but happens when you focus in on that input. You can also toggle uh, have a toggle trigger. Trigger. Sorry, you can have a toggle trigger trigger multiple togglers at the same time. That's a mouthful. I can say that a few times fast. So uh, in this example, this button is toggling three different things on the page. Just by having space separated IDs, you can toggle all of them at once. You can also trigger toggle from JavaScript. So say you want behavior to happen that is not uh, easy to set up purely by the having something be toggled on and off. So in this example, we have a button. It's going to hide something, but we actually, and, and then show it. So it'll hide it and show it back and forth. But we actually want to change the content of the button, the text, uh, when it, something is hidden or not. We can do that while still using Toggler by listening for the events that Toggler fires. So on this item, we're listening for when it goes on, when it goes off, and using that as a way to trigger our JavaScript behavior. Now, this example is very simple, but this provides you a way to plug into Foundation's behavior so that you, know, you use this as a starting point, uh, not as something that has to operate completely in isolation. So when you're integrating with your own application, you're integrating with something more complicated, um, or even just you want to trigger a whole cascade of events, uh, you can do that, and the recommended way to do that is something like this, where you're you're listening for the events, you're tapping into that event lifecycle. All right, next, reveal modal. Just a quick review. Again, a reveal looks something like this. 